We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. I'll be right down. I could use the warm-up. Nice one! You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. That's it! You're getting it! Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Right. Gear in order? Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now. Okay, let's get started. Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. That's Albion's plan. Much easier to trample people's freedoms when they fear everything. They never even see it. So, 
We have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? Yes, this is what I'm here for. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. You creep. And don't follow me. Scram, me already got Albion hustling me. Me I need it from you too. Can I help you? You're in my spears, man. I don't like her. I can see why she might be in a bad mood. Albion just placed her under severe data restriction. Why? Well, she's been looking into a couple of their field officers' dodgy side project, and you know how Albion feels about transparency. Any investigation that spooks Albion is worth knowing about. Right, here's the coordinates of the goons in question. See if you can't work out what they're up to. to get around London.
Albion have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. Albion has taken over the courts. London's justice system is broken. They can arrest anyone and send them to jail as they please. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation.
What do we have, Bagley? A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here? A journalist. And this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the hell? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. Now, let's disrupt some of Albion's propaganda and give some hope to the people. Somebody do something. Get shit for Brian's. I gotta get out of here. 